I don't know if Amy McLernan has watched any of my videos. If not, then she and I are just definitely on the same page with how to actually put out a campaign and do it right. So let's go ahead and dive in to Amy's new project, Reality Hackers 0.2 Exile. First and foremost, let's go ahead and take a look at this cover. This is really, really nice, and the cover actually speaks to the interior artwork as well. There's two issues so far to this comic, and I'm just going to spoil it right now. The perks are done wonderfully and actually provide you an opportunity to get issue one and two in the same package. So, absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this story is about. There's a little bit of TLDR. You just have to know that essentially we have some AI that basically takes over the world. And let's get into the good part. The old enlightenment values of human reason, intellect, freedom of thought and speech are rejected. Information as a measure of all things cannot be scrutinized or fully understood by the flawed human mind. And as such, the human mind must stand in awe of it. The scientific paradigm is destroyed to make way for a new creed of infoism, reverence of the informational structures comprising all reality takes precedence, and the information metropolis takes its rightful place as the one true spiritual realm. A rogue band of hackers, and this is 200 years after the machines take over, a rogue band of chaos hackers immune to the suppressant drugs given to all human beings at birth make their merry in the desert. They think they are safe, but the core is watching. As the hacker's protective shield grows thinner and their exploits grow messier, the core's robot lackeys get closer. We follow two of the hackers as they fall madly in love. Their bliss is disrupted, however, when a member of their group is captured. We also discover more about the motivations of the core and its origin. This book screams 1980s cyberpunk. And I don't know if Amy is just enamored with cyberpunk from that era or grew up during that time frame. But as someone who himself grew up in the 80s, I gotta say, this cyberpunk story looks really, really authentic. And I am loving the designs they've got going on here. I mean, let's just go down the page and take a look at this. We have description of the characters. We have Irrebellia Weird. We've got Javentry. We've got Cassine, we've got the Dyad. You know, you, you get an idea of who's actually involved in the story. And she gives us a good idea of the content of the book as well as what we're going to get as far as the look. I mean, look at that cover. That is a really nice cover for issue number one. But I got to say, the best part of this entire thing is how they went ahead, and I love the strategic black border here, how they went ahead and they actually set up uh, their perks. So let's go take a look at that right now. Smartly, they go ahead and they place their most expensive perk at the top of the list. Perfect, exactly what you want. That's 40 pounds or 52 US dollars. And what do you get with this? First off, you get both a PDF copy of issue one and issue two, along with a print copy of issue one and issue two, something that I have been harping on for weeks now. And this is exactly how you wanna do this. If you're going to offer a digital copy, offer a digital copy with a physical copy of the book. And with the most expensive version, which is again, only 52 bucks, you're getting both a print copy of issue one and two and a PDF copy of issue one and two. What's really nice about this, you get the PDF copy of issue one and two, you can read it from your computer and then take the print issue and never unbag it. You can literally have it in pristine condition for all of its days. Now, that is nice. You get a soundtrack with this, with, what is this, two songs? Uh, you get uh, background character information, and you get your name mentioned in the book if you want it. This is great. This is a wonderful way of doing this. But, hey, what else do we have here as far as perks? Well, they do offer you a digital copy. They're only charging four bucks for it. Really, I think they should be charging more. But you get a PDF copy of issue two, 
Or you can go ahead and get a digital copy of issue one and two if you want to for only six bucks. If you're not sure about the artist, if you're not sure if you're how big you're going to be into cyberpunk and you just want to try it out, hey, having the ability to read the first two issues digitally is a wonderful option to have, but only because they have the big bundle up top that has the physical and electronic offer together. We look further down, you can go ahead and get a signed comic book for $9. And again, issue to print and PDF copy. Mwah! Perfect, exactly what you need to be doing. And you can go ahead and get this $12, which is just the digital copy of issue one and two and the PDF copy of one and two. It's only 12 bucks. What a steal. I can't believe, I mean, I, I would think this would be a $35 offer. You're getting it for $12. Wow, that, that's just freaking amazing. I love that. And you have also, you know, again, the soundtrack. And soundtrack is important. Back in the day, for me, one of my favorite cyberpunk adventures was Bubblegum Crisis, an anime out of Japan. And I loved the music back then and the combination of the music with the cyberpunk atmosphere. So music and comics and animation and movie and film for cyberpunk, it's all one big thing. And to see them brought here together, I mean, just imagine, you're listening to the soundtrack while you're reading the comic, you're immediately in the mood for exactly what you're dealing with. It's great. And if we go down a little bit further, we can see you get a signed copy with soundtrack. I mean, and again, it's only 17 bucks, 13 pounds. This is amazing. This is exactly what I want to see in a campaign. Very reasonably priced. Now, I freely admit the reasonable price is probably going to be due to the fact that the production run is going to be on low-grade stock. But I don't care. This could be done on newsprint. It looks awesome. And hey, if you're putting the comic book in cellophane, putting it into your long box, and only reading issue one and two... What does it matter? You've got a pristine copy that no one else has ever looked at in your long box, and you can read the actual comic on your computer anytime you want. I'm good with this. This is a wonderful campaign. This, this, my friends, is an example of doing it right. And this only just started. They got 15 backers. We're looking at 33 days left. They've only sold $342 worth of this product, and frankly, that is a crime. Please, come out to Indiegogo. Look up Reality Hacker 0.2 by Amy McLernan and buy this book. Take a look at this. Again, $52, you get everything with it, and you get digital copies so that you can keep your original copies pristine, in bag, never been touched by anybody except for the artist who did the fulfillment. So yes, back this, fund this. Let's go ahead and get them up to their goal of $2,581. We have plenty of time to do it. And frankly, the quality of this artwork, the quality of this campaign, the way they've structured it, this deserves to be a five-figure book. So let's get it up there, everybody. Reality Hackers 0.2 Exile. Issues one and two, along with digital copies, in one easy-to-buy package. Go do it. Go do it now.